This was a no-brainer. Of course, I don't condone violence, but I can't say the actions on behalf of the actor were innocent. In fact, I'd go so far as to say he was complicit in emotional abuse leading up to the tasering. So you're saying he's to blame for being attacked? Well, I mean, he had no problem with the fan posting or promoting or any of the social media benefits that came with the friendship. I wouldn't call that no friendship. I mean, the lines get blurry, is all I'm saying. Which is why there's no negating the fact that there was a friendship as soon as the actor reached out to the fan on a personal level, only to then throw them away when they had no use for them. I mean, he sounds like a grade-A narcissist. As a former artist, I'd say I know a thing or two about being misunderstood by fans. Even in the case of the actor reaching out, he had a million reasons to abandon the friendship. For example, the fan could have just as well been psychotic disguised as a victim. It happens. I'm just looking at the facts, and from where I'm standing, my money's on narcissists. That sounds like a take one or no one, don't it, James? Excuse me? I think you should leave. I'm good. That wasn't a suggestion, Miss Cooper. Go. Now, please.